Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be speaking about ADHD and hygiene. So you might be thinking, Molly, what does ADHD have to do with hygiene? But yeah, you might be thinking like, why are you going to talk about both of those things? Like what do they, what can they do together? Or like, you know, what, why? So I'm here today to talk to you about how ADHD can impact your kind of ability to maintain a healthy kind of routine with personal hygiene but before we start if you could smash me a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to my youtube channel i will forever be grateful so yeah let's get on to the video so adhd can have a negative impact on personal hygiene you may or you may not have known that and well yeah it, it can not a lot of people will talk about this because it is probably you know it, it's embarrassing isn't it admitting that you have struggles maintaining your personal hygiene can be something that us ADHDers feel quite ashamed to admit I know I did. When I was first diagnosed with ADHD, I was looking all over social media trying to find someone who I could relate to. And, you know, I could relate to a lot of content creators out there. I could really relate to the majority of them. But there was never any content creators that spoke about the taboo subjects. The subjects that are embarrassing, the subjects that you think, oh, I better not put that online, or like, you know, the the disgusting ones that you just think, ew, don't talk about that. There was never any content creators out there that done that. Like they weren't either willing to, or they didn't want to talk about it, or they were too ashamed to admit that they struggled with that. So, I today I'm gonna to talk about one of those taboo subjects, obviously, which is hygiene. Hygiene, hygiene, no, hygiene. Um, we're gonna talk about that today because, like I say, I struggle really bad with that. And I'm not here to say, oh, I'm really good at it now. No, I'm really not. I still struggle massively. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to share my struggles with you in order to make you guys feel a little kind of more, you know, normal. To make you feel like, well, not to make you feel like, but to make you aware that you are not alone. This will not be every ADHD is experience. Let me just get that out there because I don't want people saying that's not me, blah, 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 blah. You know, if you're here thinking, ew, ew, then this video is not for you. Like, don't watch it if that disgusts you because I don't want you watching it if it makes you feel sick. Because actually, that is my reality and I know I am not alone with this issue, with this struggle. So, please do not disrespect any of us please do not invalidate our experiences many of the traits associated with adhd can impact on hygiene it can make keeping a routine and keeping up with your hygiene near on impossible it can make it feel really you know like a chore when actually it shouldn't be a chore it should be more natural but to some of us adhds it can be like really really hard remember to put your clothes in the laundry remember to brush your teeth remember to have a shower remember to you know it, it can be really difficult having adhd anyway is super isolating not everyone believes that it's even a real disorder or condition you know so much stigma out there there are so many things that just aren't known about adhd but when you're an ADHD yourself and you struggle with some of the things that are socially unacceptable to um, struggle with you can feel really ashamed to ask for help so this video is almost like a self-help video I want you to know you are not alone and my struggles are my struggles okay but by me opening up and talking about some of the most vulnerable kind of things about my life I really want you to know that I'm doing this so that you do not feel alone. So having ADHD right, you can struggle with sensory sensitivities. So for example, brushing your teeth, that can be a sensory trigger. That can just be a no-go. It can make you feel very ugh. It can really affect those of us who have sensory sensitivities. You know, the whole sound, the feeling, the toothpaste, how it leaves your mouth, feeling after, like it can be a huge sensory trigger for us. Having a shower can also be a sensory 
nightmare for some of us you know the feeling again like it's just not something that those of us with sensory issues are able to like willingly want to do it can't, it doesn't relax us okay it makes us feel stressed it's like hell for some of us this does not mean that we do not have baths or showers okay that doesn't this is not what i'm getting at it's just a lot harder for us to you know wanting like it's really hard for us to want to willingly do this thing we will do it obviously we have to but it's not something that is easy for us to make ourselves do, you know. It could be very uncomfortable, like physically uncomfortable for some of us. So another trait associated with ADHD that can make keeping up with your personal hygiene feel really hard and difficult is our poor time management, okay? Oh my goodness. So some of us may struggle with prioritising, with organising things, you know, setting alarms. And basically, just giving yourself enough time. We probably are the ones that are always running late. But a lot of us ADHDs are not morning people. So we should probably have a bath or a shower the night before. But a lot of us just, because like I say, it's sensory hell for us. We'll leave it to the last minute. And we do. And sometimes it's like, oh my god, I'm running late. I can't have a bath or a shower. And then, you know, you, you, know, you, you miss having a bath. Or you, you miss brushing your teeth because you're in a rush. These things happen. So because of us kind of not enjoying baths or showers, brushing our teeth, like it's not fun. And a lot of us ADHDers, we are a rewards kind of based and a passion based person. We have to have like huge interests. We have to be really passionate about doing stuff to be able to like wingly want to do them without having to like force ourselves to do it. So brushing your teeth, having a shower, if we are, if we don't enjoy it, and it's not something that, you know, gives us that boost of dopamine, it can be super challenging to motivate ourselves to actually want to do these things. As you know, a lot of us ADHDers have trouble maintaining focus. We are easily distracted. So we can be distracted on our way to brush our teeth, for example, on our way to the shower, to the bath. Yeah. Yeah, it just happens, okay? Oh, the doorbell might ring, or oh, I need to do this, or oh yeah, I wanted to watch that program. You know, things pop up and they just distract us, and the things that don't seem important to us, well, they go to the bottom of the list and they're then easily forgotten about. I don't know about you guys, but I sometimes forget that my clothes do not wash themselves, and that I do not have a personal cleaner. Like, I don't, okay? I do not have a personal cleaner. So I sometimes think my clothes are just gonna walk themselves to the washing machine and magically wash themselves. I am so annoying like that. And then I'll end up wearing the same jumper, the same jeans, because it's just like I can't be asked. And then I'm wearing the same stuff and then like I really gross myself out because I'm like, Molly, just do it. You got to do your, like not chores, but you have to do it, Molly. You just got to do it, like, come on. It makes things just seem impossible sometimes and the boring chores, they just... Oh, I just wish I had a butler. Yeah, my clothes just don't wash themselves. Like, how rude of them. They do not wash themselves. No, but honestly, I do sometimes forget to do my laundry and then I'm wearing the same thing over and over again because I'm left with no clothes and then I'm going out and I realise I have like a, a mark down my jumper and I'm like, Ew, Molly, why do you do this? Like, yeah, I forget to do the laundry. Okay, I just forget. My biggest struggle though personally is brushing my teeth. I really don't like doing it. I just don't like just standing there and just like brushing my teeth. Like it just, oh, I, it bores me. Like, I, oh dearie me, I just don't like it. And I always like, because it's not important to me, I always forget to do it because it's not like in my brain as in I need to do this, I need to do this, I need to do this. Like. It should be, but it's not, and I'm not gonna lie, like I have really, really struggled with it. And I'm so lucky that my teeth are in really, really good condition for some reason, or I don't know how, but they're in such good condition and I would hate that my teeth wouldn't be in good condition because, uh, well, I, oh, I don't know, but it just freaks me out, okay? It freaks me out that my teeth might be in bad condition and I know how important it is to, you know, to brush my teeth and to keep up with my oral hygiene, but the thing is it just, Oh, I hate myself for it, okay? It's always been something I am ashamed of. It really is, okay? Sometimes I'm like, does my breath smell? Oh my God, Molly, you're disgusting. Oh, you're lazy. Like, I 
literally gaslight myself i make myself feel like i'm a disgusting human being but actually i really do struggle with keeping up with my routines it's just i oh i just do and i know i'm not alone so this video is for you guys the ones that are like me and if it's not important or it doesn't give you this boost of like dopamine it just doesn't seem to like register in your brain how important it is you know i can i know how important these things are like it, yes, I know how important it is, but the thing is, it just doesn't register with me. Oh. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video because I know there are some people out there that might be newly diagnosed or they have ADHD or autism and they just, they just, they just want to talk about it. They just, they think, am I weird? Am I normal? Like, what's my problem? You know, I want you to know you are not weird. You are totally a great person, doesn't make you disgusting or dirty. The thing is, you struggle and that is okay. Please reach out for help. If I can give you any advice for me, it is generally setting alarms on my phone. That That is it, okay? I will literally, like, set myself on my phone, like, alarms. Like, things that just pop up, like, oh, you need to do this. Like, I have to do that, otherwise I will generally forget about the things I'm not interested in doing, the things I just, I don't enjoy, they're just, yeah. So, my piece of, my piece of advice is to literally set alarms, it doesn't matter if there has to be 10, just, just do it, because it does generally help. Um, and if you have a supportive partner, or a supportive parent, sibling, friend, or whatever, right, ask them to do a little check-in, maybe every other day, every day, you know, whatever it is. If it's brushing your teeth, do it like twice a day. Get them to do it twice a day. Oh, but yeah, if you can get someone who supports you, understands you, and won't be nagging or like judging you, get them to gently remind you that, oh yeah, moles, remember to jump in the shower, or moles, remember to brush your teeth, or moles, have you done this? Have you washed your laundry? Like, have you, you know, put your laundry in the wash? If you have a supportive friend or, you know, family member, whoever, if you have someone who can do that, do that because honestly my mum does it to me and first of all it was like stop nagging me but now it really does encourage me like okay I need to do this and I, I need to do that like it really does help me so yeah those are my two kind of best tips so yeah if you have any tips for any other fellow ADHDers out there please let us know please comment down below and let's just all be nice to each other and share our tips because because, yeah, this is not something that a lot of people talk about. But I'm okay talking about it because I know you guys will understand. So, yeah, I just, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Remember to like and subscribe down below. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.